In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can optimize some of the contact libraries that Spitfire Audio offers. In particular, I'll be focusing on Spitfire Solo strings, as this library requires a high amount of CPU for the total performance patches. I've loaded up the Cello total performance patch and I've composed a small MIDI part. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like currently as I've got the library stored on my internal hard drive and haven't optimised my door yet. <laughs> What we're hearing in the background is just slight CPU glitches. So what can we do to stop this from happening? Well first, we can look at our DAW preferences. In Live, you can find this in Live, Preferences and Audio. And what we'll do is increase the buffer size or buffer rate as it's known in Logic to 1024 samples. Now that we've increased the buffer size, Let's have a listen to what the library sounds like now. Now we've removed most of the glitching from the library. However, there's one more thing that we can do to improve this. If you have an external SSD hard drive available, we always recommend streaming our libraries from those devices. What I'm going to do now is move the folder from my internal hard drive to my external SSD that's formatted to my system. To learn what format you need to have your SSD, check the description below. Now that I've moved the library onto my external SSD drive, I'll need to relocate it in the contact player. To do this, simply search for the library and then select Locate. From Locate, you'll need to browse for folder and then navigate to the new hard drive that we've sent the library to. When we've found the relevant folder, we can now select Open and you'll be prompted for your password to make the file path changes permanent. Now we'll see that Spitfire Solo Strings is available in contact and we can load the instrument as we did before. The loading time is now vastly increased as we've stored this on a dedicated SSD drive. You'll now hear that when I play the MIDI file, the audio is much smoother in the library. We've now installed the library on a very powerful SSD hard drive and we've also optimised the audio preferences in our DAW. Let's have a listen to how it sounds now. <laughs> You can now see that the CPU values are relatively low and the disk values are hovering around the 0% mark. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.